push the main unit aside. So again, on, on this unit, there's a um, little plug here. Can you see that? I don't know if the light's good enough for that. Anyway. Yeah, that unit there. Okay. So that plug there. We extract. Flip it over. Like so, and there's a release catch there, which we're going to press outwards and push up with push up with our finger there. So, like so, to release, and then press upwards, and the unit slides up. So now the corner is free, and we manoeuvre it so that the other side comes free. And the middle is held here by a pin, which then will just pull pull out like so. Put this bit to the side. Okay, that leaves us with this. The old part still in, in situ there with the old laser. <coughs> so we take a small screwdriver, it has four tabs, you can you can see there, 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 there. So it's just gently lever it till the metal comes out from the tabs, like so. And same on the other side. All very gentle, no, no great um, effort involved because the sides of this carrier are quite flexible and, and will lever out easily. So we remove our old unit, and there it is. Carry out. <coughs> There's the unit to change. These, these four rubbers you'll need to transfer to the new unit. Let's do that now. So squeeze it, wiggle it out. Now they have <coughs> they have two slits here. You'll notice. So notice which one it goes in, top or bottom. <coughs> so that it locates properly, and you'll see that the 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 side with the motors on has a spare bit underneath, okay? There's the motors on the bottom and that has the the excess underneath. So we remove all four of those, they're identical, doesn't matter in which order. Put the old unit aside. Okay, making sure we're not static. We take the new unit and we insert the rubbers. Making sure, of course, that the, uh, the motors and the surplus rubber is on the underside, like so. in the four rubbers, keeping them the same way around. They have a sort of flat bit on the bottom there, which is slightly different to the more beveled top. And then we need to insert it back into the carrier. It only goes one way because the uh, motors need clearance, so it's quite obvious which way around it goes. Making sure, of course, you've got the right way up. Which I hope I have. I think I have because it looks like it fits. Or looks like uh, it fits. So get it in the same way. Just flex the edges slightly and uh, persuade the unit to go in. And 
you see it, it moves. It's got suspension and it's moving nicely, clipped in. Okay, next bit we put that back into the carrier. Here's our carrier. Now do be careful that uh, we've got the cover off the laser here, so do be careful that you don't knock the laser when doing this. Middle pin goes in first from from the ah uh, goes in from that side by the way. Yeah, goes in from that side. Now at this point watch you need to watch the laser at this point because you don't want to bash it. There you go, nicely eased in. From the, from the top, the side without the clip slants in first, and then the side with the clip clips in, and there you have it, nicely mounted. Okay, so at this point, don't forget to connect this this wire back again. That's all looking good. Note these wires are nice, kept nice and flat, and we insert it back into the unit. Okay, let's bring it back over here where you can see it. And first thing we're going to do is reattach this ribbon cable here before we screw it down. So holding the unit lightly, but so it can't spin away from you, just put one finger behind it and push the ribbon cable in that way, there. I'll highlight up the screwdriver so you can see it just there, okay, just there. It's in. So making sure that you've uh, not lost any of these these wires underneath the unit. So you've got that one and those two. These two here. Ready for the circuit board. So that can now be manoeuvred into position. Can make sure that the screw holes now line up. Okay, tip. Drop them in loosely, just start them off. Don't tighten them up, just start them off. That gives you a, you know it's in the right place and you've got a little bit of movement there. Then we go for the fiddly ones. And I shall attempt to drop these screws into the holes. Never goes right for me, I've got to admit. Always rather fiddly. Aha, that one seems to have dropped in, and then we start it off. Perfect. Magnetised screwdriver is quite helpful, I must admit. To manoeuvre them in. That's in. So we've got the now we can tighten them so one tightened two tightened three tightened Four tightened. 